Since introduced in 2007, the Can-Am Spiders have filled a bit of a niche. But now it seems that that niche is getting bigger and bigger with the introduction of their F3 line of bikes. And they focus this line directly at the cruiser and bagger crowds. Let's go check out what's hot with the new Can-Am Spider. <laughs> We actually launched this one here, the F3S Special Series, uh, in Sturgis this year. So I was on site uh, in Sturgis when we launched this. Um, it was a great reception. It was a lot of fun. People would come by and say, you know, I've seen the Spider. I'm not sure about the Spider. Uh, I look at this. It's got this all black coloration. The cruising style of the F3 this year, the Dark Side Series this year is uh, going to be important. We're excited to see where that goes. But uh, the crown jewel of our announcements for 2016 are, is right here in the middle, uh, the F3T and F3 Limited. This one's a special series, which is, uh, uh, again, part of that dark side series. But uh, we launched the uh, F3 in 2015. And just a little quick history lesson on the Spider, just to ground everybody. If you're not familiar with the lineup, uh, we came out with a GS in 2007, now called the RS. It's the orange one back in the back there, uh, which is our sport platform. Uh, in 2010, we came out with the first generation of the RT, which is the bigger touring one here. Uh, it had the 990 V-twin in it at the time. Uh, now we've upgraded to the 1330 in that. Uh, in 2013, we came out with the ST, which is a sport touring one like the black one we've got here. Uh, and then in 14, we revamped with the 1330 and the RT. But up until that point, we didn't have anything for the biggest crowd of motorcyclists in North America, which was something that would satisfy some of the cruiser elements. And so we came out with the F3 uh, naked cruising bike, uh, like we had over here. That has uh, It's got less plastic on it, it's exposed motor, we dropped the 1330 in there, it's got 115 horsepower. Uh, great reception from that uh, in year one. Uh, a couple of statistics that I'll throw at you. 20% of our sales uh, in 2015 were of the F3, which is great. One in every five bikes are a brand new model that we came out with last year. Um, and another important part is 93% owner satisfaction. So survey owners across the board of the, uh, the Spider F3, and that 93% number is something we're extremely proud of. Um, and again, that has to do with the way that it looks, but also the way the machine performs. It's got a lower center of gravity. You're sitting more in it as opposed to on top of it. Uh, a couple other things to it uh, that really move the needle on that cruising crowd. And then from there, we said, all right, what is that 7% worried about that's not satisfied there? And the vast majority of it falls within this. And it's looking at something that's more on the bagger side. So for 2016 now this year, our cruiser bagger that we came out with, uh, we just launched it in September. Uh, again, it comes in two different trim packages, the F3T and the F3 Limited. Uh, this one here, obviously, as you can see, there's really three primary focuses of the F3T. Comfort, convenience, and entertainment. So if you're going to take something out of here that makes the F3T and F3 Limited different than the F3 we came out with last year, it's those three categories. Comfort, convenience, and entertainment. From a comfort perspective, uh, we put this bigger pot on the front. Obviously, you can see that there's no fairing on the fronts there. Uh, on this one, we've got the fully integrated windshield. It's designed specifically for wind protection, obviously weather protection. Uh, the mirrors as well, designed for blocking. Uh, so it's all about longer distance ride and being able to have that comfort from a cruising perspective uh, with that. Uh, additionally, from a comfort perspective, uh, we've got our U-Fit system on this. For those of you that aren't familiar with it, uh, you know I can jump up here, but the, the floorboards on this one or the pegs on that one are fully adjustable. There's actually five settings on that. So it fits anybody from five feet tall on up, well over six feet tall. I like to have my legs outstretched. It's just the riding style that I personally prefer. And then from a handlebar perspective, five different handlebars. And again, those are different choices that you can get. This is a stock bar that's on both of these. Uh, but you know, you can change the pegs and, and that being able to basically custom fit the bike to you or in very little time and not being that uh, mechanically savvy, you can change them yourself at home in your garage it's just a couple of rods uh, to change the pegs between multiple riders in the family. It really takes about 10 minutes to do. So 
Uh, so the manually adjustable air suspension, you just pop this back seat off, there's a little plug in back, you can hook up uh, a hand pump, a compressor, whatever you've got. We've got a PSI recommended guide uh, underneath the seat that shows what PSI we recommend from a manufacturer standpoint based on your load. So if you're going to ride two up, if you're going to ride one up, what your weight is, and being able to do that. So again, from a comfort perspective, that adds a lot of dynamic to the ride. You can preset it before you head out for the type of ride that you're going to do. From a convenience standpoint, uh, again, we're talking cruiser bagger. So here it's all about storage capacity. On the base F3 there and the F3 uh, S, we're looking at about six and a half gallons of storage. We've got the same storage in the front here and the front trunk that every Spider has. Uh, you can fit a full face helmet in that front area. But then in addition to that now, we've added two hard side bags that are all lockable. They're top loading, flip of a switch up here and then it comes open. Uh, there's plastic part in here. I've got a cover in here to show the size. Uh, but decent size and it brings the storage capacity up from six and a half to 21 gallons of storage uh, on the F3T. So if you look at the two, you can see that there's a different rear swing arm uh, on the F3T and F3 Limited. This one is not rated to tow a trailer. Uh, this one now, however, there's a lot of people that rode the F3 platform. They like that cruiser stance, wanted to tow a trailer with it. So we've got an example of our Freedom trailer back here. Uh, now the ST, the RT Touring, and now the F3 Limited new this year, uh, you can actually tow a trailer. Uh, so you can hook a hitch up to it. That white one actually has a hitch on there. And one of the great things about k and is towing a trailer with it, it does not void the warranty. So you keep your vehicle warranty when you're towing a trailer. Uh, and the VSS system, the stability system knows that there's a trailer on there as well and it'll adjust. So uh, again, all about storage. Uh, up in front here, we've got a uh, glove box that opens up. It's a place just for convenient items, sunglasses and such. Uh, similar to the RT has one, and then there's a USB plug and an auxiliary plug in there. Uh, this one now, there's no radio available on the F3, F3S. On the newest one, we've got a radio integrated into here. Uh, one of the beautiful things about uh, designing a product from the ground up, in this case the front pod, is just optimization across the board. In this case, optimized audio. Uh, we've got an 80 watt sound system in here, but don't let that number fool you, it sounds incredible. Uh, if you sit behind it, it's directionally built to hit the rider right on the point. Uh, it sounds fantastic with a four speaker system in there. Uh, you can hook your iPod up. I talked about a USB port in here. Uh, so you can hook your iPod up in front and uh, we've got a full color display now on this similar to what we have on the RT where you can then uh, pull up your music menus right on your display and just use your left hand here on the, on the menu buttons to be able to scroll through, scroll through your uh, audio sections there. So, so the vast majority, about 85% of the parts and accessories that are new for this year fit the T and the Limited as well as the F3 and the F3S. Uh, looking at those different segments, if somebody comes into a dealership and they're looking for more style, uh, the dealer is just very easily able to flip through a book and say, all right, here's the style elements, what you can do for a Spider. So just a, a specialization of that. Just other brief news on other models outside of this family. Uh, the RT unit for this year, they, we brought back the Orbital Blue. Uh, this is one that first came out uh, when we launched in 2010. A very popular color. It's the first time that it's available in the RT with the 1330, so the bigger engine. Uh, and we added a USB to that. Uh, uh, the RT is our best-selling one that we have right now. Uh, it's going to be very interesting to uh, continue to watch that and see the F3. Again, we did 20% of sales on F3 this year. Uh, and then we still keep the uh, the RS and the ST line as well. So we've got a sport and sport touring. We're really committed to continuing to have sport, sport touring, cruising, and full touring um, across the board. can has really diversified their offerings with this new F3 line. I have a feeling they're going to be a big hit. Make sure to leave a comment below and like the video. And of course, to keep up to date with Cycle Sports TV, subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Periscope, Instagram, and Pinterest, all at Cycle Sports TV.